Good morning everybody, Paul and Pauline here and we're visiting with Angie and we're on her balcony. Hallelujah, great place to read the word of God. And today we're studying Colossians chapter 1 from the New International Version. Let's go from verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Timothy our brother, to God's holy people in Colossae, the faithful brothers and sisters, in Christ grace and peace to you from God our Father, thanksgiving and prayer. Verse 3. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we've heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all of God's people, the faith and love that brings from the hope stored up for you in heaven and about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel that has come to you in the same way. The gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. Oh, that we understand God's grace. It's amazing. You learnt it from Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who is faithfully minister of Christ on our behalf, and who also told us of your love in the Spirit. Pauline, do you want to try reading from verse 9? No. Oh, Lord. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, Amen. so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might so that you may have great endurance and patience and giving joyful thanks to the father who has qualified you to share in the in his and has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves in whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins what a mighty God we serve, that he would love us and give us an inheritance in him, which is eternal life in the kingdom of light. How good is our God? It's just so important that we stay in the word, stay in fellowship, love one another, forgive one another, and continue to grow in the knowledge of God. God loves us and he loves you. Mm. You realize that he loves you and he cares about you. Hallelujah. So that's our reading for the day. You get into the Word. And let the Word of God get into you. See you later now. Bye. Bye.